Today we're answering a viewer question. M. Favreau asks, Why can my house pipes freeze in winter sometimes, but fire hydrants completely exposed to the cold never seem to burst? And just before we get to answering that question, I do want to say that we're about to launch a new channel. Now, some of you might remember a while ago that we did a Today in History series of videos. We're now spinning that off to a brand new show hosted by yours truly. So subscribe to that below. Videos will be coming real soon. Okay, so to that question. Now, the fire hydrant that we know today traces its origins back to fire plugs. Water mains that transported fresh water in a city or town used to be made of hollowed out logs buried beneath the streets. Whenever there was a fire and firefighters needed water, they dug up the cobblestone street and drilled a hole into the wooden pipe. After they extinguished the fire, the firefighters would plug the hole called a fire plug. Of course, then they would rebury the water main. The plug could then be removed and the same hole used if another fire occurred in that same area, saving the drilling time. The big problem was, though, that moving all those cobblestones, it took up a bunch of firefighting time, and that time should have really been spent, you know, putting out the fire. Moreover, the plugs and the holes were only located in areas where fires had already occurred. So firefighters needed to drill new holes into the water main if they arrived at a fire in a neighborhood that hadn't yet experienced a fire. As cast iron water mains slowly replaced the hollowed out logs and the fire plugs, the ability to drill on the fly quickly became a thing of the past, and thus pre made taps were extended from the water main to above the street level, and they worked like faucets for firefighters to hook up their hoses to. These taps were placed at regular intervals along the street. Firefighters now had easy access to a reliable source of water, and they were now in predictable locations. In 1801, Frederick Graff Sr. is generally credited with inventing the fire hydrants that resembles the fire hydrants that we all know today. Known as the post or pillar design, these hydrants gave firefighters access to the water through a hose slash faucet outlet. They also had a valve on the top of the hydrants. The design allowed water to flow into the hydrant at all times, a type of hydrant that would later be known as a wet barrel hydrant because it always had water flowing into it. Wet barrel fire hydrants like Graf's still exist today, though their design means that they are only used in warmer climates. Areas subject to the ground freezing in winter only use dry barrel hydrants. Unlike wet barrel hydrants, which allow water into the hydrant at all times, the dry barrel hydrant does not. While there are variations on the design, in general, the dry barrel hydrant connects with a water main buried beneath the frost line. This is the depth to which the ground typically freezes in the winter. This connection includes a pair of valves, the main valve and the drain valve. When opened, the main valve sends water into the fire hydrant and the drain valve is automatically closed. The drain valve automatically opens when the main valve is shut. This allows the water to drain out of the hydrant into the water main without allowing any water back in so that the hydrant isn't full of water, which would be able to freeze during cold winter temperatures. While the design of dry barrel fire hydrants make them unlikely to freeze during the winter, they can still fail. Either the main valve or the drain valve might stop working if they are not maintained properly or they might need to be replaced due to old age. Other times, a dry barrel hydrant may freeze because an unusually cold winter could move the frost line deeper into the grounds and cause problems with the water main, potentially damaging the valves in the process. This is why during the winter you will often see crews out testing the hydrants to make sure that there aren't any freezing problems. After using a dry barrel hydrant, firefighters will also often notify the appropriate utility company to let them know so that if they choose, they can come out and make sure the hydrant is drained properly. According to the Director of Distribution at the South Bend, Indiana Water Department, how they check it is as follows. We have a six-foot-long weighted string that they drop into the barrel. If it drops down to the bottom with no water on it, then we know it's fine and the fire hydrant is drained. But if we drop it and it stops right there, then the fire hydrant is frozen. So that's the answer to the question. And if you want more stuff from us, why not subscribe to our new channel, Highlight History? It's a Today in History thing that we're starting. You can find a link to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.